Hello and welcome to Veritas installation training which is a part of uh, the Veritas volume manager. This video has been presented from Unix services so please do subscribe to us on the YouTube channel and also visit us on Unix services dot co dot n so initially today what we have is we have a red hat operating system that is red hat 6 which we are installing the veritas or the semantic volume manager and I have downloaded the 64-bit volume manager software and dumped the same thing onto my virtual machine which I am working on right now so you can get this from the semantic official website and you can choose 64-bit red hat option <coughs> for volume manager and download the same from the website and if you have a look at the operating system which we are using so it is Red Hat Enterprise 6.3 RHEL 6 6.3 is the operating system so now we have dumped the content and if you type ls we can see all the files which are related to the package which we have downloaded from the internet through the semantic website so our next task would be to start the installation so before we start the installation we will perform a pre-installation check so we have all these folders and the installation script and when we hit PWD so we are right now on the root desktop RHEL 6 64-bit x86 underscore 64 this is what is the folder which we are there so inside that we have all these folders directories and the installing script So our task would be to install. So before we install to, we need to check the pre-installation check. So we will use dot forward slash and we'll give the name of the script that is installer, which is there in green, the executable script. And now we are waiting for it to perform. and run the system requirements would be minimum 9 GB of the disk space and 2 GB of RAM so once we run the installer script we'll get this menu which is a part of Veritas product and here we have different options where you can perform a pre-installation check configure and install a product or if you want you can install a product upgrade uninstall a product start a product stop a product and you have all these options so we are interested to perform a pre-installation check before we go ahead and install the product so I'll hit the P key and now it is asking what do you want to install so we have three options that is Veritas cluster server Veritas storage foundation and high availability so we want option 2 so because we are working on the storage foundation so we'll choose option 2 and then it will ask the name of the machine the host name so here our host name is server so I'll just type server here and hit enter so now it starts communicating to the machine and perform a pre-installation check 
so now it is checking for the system communication and you can see it's checking for the release compatibility and the RPMs which are there so you may sometimes get an error message for RPMs so once you get the error message please go ahead and install those RPMs to resolve the problem okay so right now our system check is completed and we do not have any errors and we are good to go for the installation so now we'll perform the installation and we'll run the same script once again now we will choose I option to install a product so we want to install the second Veritas storage foundation and high availability and it is asking would you agree the license agreement I'll say yes so select the RPMs to be installed on all the machines so I would say I'll go with option 2 which is recommended enter the 64-bit RHEL system names so the system name which I am trying to install is server now it starts the installation and now we'll hit enter to install all the RPMs which are there you can see the name of the RPMs which it is trying to install and you can see the taskbar which completes the percentage so we are waiting for the installation to complete
and now you can see it's performing the post installation task so if you have an uh, valid license key you can enter it right now or in case if you are working on a test machine you can just hit enter and you can select the product which you want to test it or work on so we will be testing the, the standard version of the high availability and the storage foundation and would you like to enable replication if you want to enable replication you can say yes so presently in our situation we do not want to enable replication so we'll choose no and it says would you like to configure a storage foundation high availability server so right now in our situation we are not configuring any server so I'll hit enter in case if you want you can just go ahead and configure it so would you like to send the information about this installation to semantic to help improve installation in future so we can say yes not a problem so we can view the summary file of the installation so the installation was successfully completed so I do not require any summary file that's fine so so that's the end of the installation which we have completed so that's good everything went on smooth and we were able to work out so our next task is to check whether our installation was completed properly or not so we can use VX disk list to list the disks which is there so many times when you run this VX disk list you may get this error the IPC failure error so to fix this problem we need to run VX config D to configure the disks and now we'll run VX disk controller to initialize and we'll run the VX disk controller to enable so once we do that now we can run the VX disk list and we can see the disk which is there available for us so that's all we have for the installation thank you for viewing and have a great day ahead